Okay, hello guys. Uh, welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, we'll be mainly covering the TCS Ninja coding questions uh, of previous year coding questions. I think this video would be self-sufficient for you to learn uh, the coding for TCS Ninja and, you know, would be the best way for you to begin with, right? So, uh, you know, if we talk about TCS Ninja, there are uh, different type of questions that are uh, asked in the exam. So, there are number series questions that are asked. For example, uh, you have 0, 2 and then 4 and then uh, 16 and then 32 and then 64 so so on so forth so 2 to the power of 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 so on so forth so it would not be this easy this i've just taken for reference uh, i think one of such number series question we are also going to solve in this uh, uh, in this video as well right so then pattern series uh, question for example if you are to print star and then on the next line star star and on the next line star 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 and then so on and so forth, right? Or probably a little difficult one would be 10, 9, then 7, then 6, 5, 3, then 2, 1, 0, or minus 1, or whatever. So such kind of uh, see, pattern printing series. Then there could be, uh, you know, questions upon strings wherein uh, you have to convert, uh, you have to take a string as an input and you have to capitalize the whole string or maybe just uh, capitalize the consonants or maybe just decapitalize the uh, vowels so you know questions like these all right uh, and then matrices could also be there so you have to take a matrix as an input that is 7 9 8 and 6 8 2 4 3 1 and then find out the max the row with the maximum sum or the column with the maximum sum or you know just do both of them together all right so something like this so these could be matrices that they can ask uh, so let, let's begin with the video and then uh, I'll try to explain you the things as we go ahead, right? So for example, uh, the languages that you can use in the exam are C, C++, Java, Perl and Python, right? There would be only one question that is going to be asked in the exam and the time given would be 30 minutes. But this question would be a little difficult uh, than what compared to uh, was asked in TCS Ninja exam last year because the digital exam is also happening this year with the higher package and they've merged the two exams. So yes, the question would be a little difficult. And also the time they have increased from 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So, you know, they are also implying that the coding question that they are going to ask in the exam would be a little more difficult this year. So, you know, uh, so firstly, what I'll do is I'll explain you the algorithm, the logic on how you would solve the program. And then we'll look at uh, the program itself. So for example, uh, this question was asked in TCS Ninja uh, exam or NQT exam last year, right? Uh, so consider the following series and then this series is given and then you have to print any, uh, you know, uh, you have to print this series or a particular number in this series. So for example, uh, if they tell you that, uh, you know, take an input from the user as in N and the value of N is 7. So print the seventh number that is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So this is the seventh number. You have to print it. If if the user decides to enter the value as 11th, then, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11, then this thing you have to print. So I'll tell you how the series is going by further uh, in the video. Okay. Uh, so here for better representation, uh, you know, we've, uh, we've put all of these uh, number series here, right? So for example, uh, what we are doing essentially here is, uh, this is number series 0, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, 3, 8, 4, right? So what is happening here, if you only look at the odd positions, that is 0, 1, sorry, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So all of the, at all of these odd positions, this is starting with number 0. And at exactly next position, we are doing plus 2. And then we are doing plus 2 again from the previous value. And then we are doing plus 2 again from the previous value and then the same thing has happening all over right so this is what is happening for the cream areas right for the blue areas what is happening is for this position uh, that is 0 1 2 3 4 if you look at them so <clears throat> what is happening here is from the previous value right that is here you are dividing it by 2 that is 0 divided by 2 is again 0 so which is why 0 is coming here then again for the fourth position the third position value is 2 so 2 divided by 2 is again that is 1 so which is why you get the value 1 here then again 
for this value the fifth position value number is 4 so 4 divided by 2 again is 2 so which is why you are getting 2 here so what we are going to do to solve this particular question we've initialized two variables that is a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 0 and we will use this a to print out the values of this odd position that is 0 3 5 7 so on and then these b values uh, b values we are going to use for the even position that is what i have marked in the blue color right so let us begin with this uh, particular exam uh, particular question right so firstly obviously i am going to explain you the logic uh, the algorithm for it and then we will look at the uh, you know the coding question itself or the code itself right so as I explained to you first we are going to initialize one more variable apart from a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 0 that is n and then we are going to ask the user what is the value of n if we let's say enter 7 so basically is asking us to print this seventh value that is 6 6 will be printed also this n will be used in this for loop to iterate till the boundary condition right so initially we also initialize one variable that is i now we are using this i to iterate upon this for loop so this for loop is for i is equals to 1 that is initializing i is equals to 1 and then i is less than equal to n till the boundary condition and then after everything we are just you know incrementing it right so this i we are also going to use the further in this for loop there are going to be one if else condition right this first if condition we are going to use to print out these values that is in the cream color this cream color also denotes this cream color that is the odd values here and this else condition we are going to print out the values for the even positions that is 2 4 6 and then this blue color i have identified this as here right so initially what happens is first <clears throat> when the for loop runs i value is 1 right so it comes and goes it comes to this if loop or if uh, condition right so 1 that is i i value is 1 right now so 1 percentage 2 right so there's a difference between percentage and division so i hope all of you know that percentage is basically the remainder so when we uh, when we do you know divide 1 by 2 the remainder comes out to be 1 right so which is 1 is not equal to 0 which is true so it implements this loop itself right for the second iteration when i becomes 2 right so when we do the same thing 2 percentage 2 is equals to 0 now 0 not equal to 0 when we solve this right so this if condition is not satisfying which is why it goes to here right so which is why whenever there is uh, which is why on 1 when y i values is 1 3 5 7 9 it implements this if loop that is the same color that i have represented when the i value is 2 4 6 8 10 so on so forth it could be you know forever right we are going to print out we are going to go to the else condition and apply this logic and then when otherwise apply this logic right so firstly i have just explained to you how this for loop works when we go to this particular logic and how we go to this particular logic now i'm going to explain you these particular uh, you know what is happening in these particular logics right so initially when i value is again when we start from basic that is i value is 1 so what happens is obviously it goes inside this loop right so we check if i is greater than 1 so 1 is not greater than 1 right so which is why this particular loop or this particular statement will not be implemented right a value currently before entering in this loop is zero as we had defined it initially right so one value is not had it been equal to condition or there so in that case this would have had been implemented but this is not the case right so initially a equal to zero so zero is printed so initially we at least got this right then again uh, when i value is two so obviously it goes back to this particular loop right so what we are doing is so b is equals to a by 2 correct a value previously was 0 so 0 divided by 2 is 0 again so also this is printed then when i value is becomes 3 correct so what happens is it goes inside this loop correct now i value is greater than 1 right now correct so this is being implemented so a is equals to initial a value was 0 0 plus 2 so 
a new a value becomes 2. So, a new value is 2. So, what happens is v print 2. Correct? <clears throat> then when i value is 4, so what happens it goes inside that loop b is equals to new a value in the last one is 2 here. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, which is why we have printed this, this, this and this. Finally, for the last time I am explaining when i value is 5, right now the previous a value was 2. Right? So, it go and the i value is obviously greater than 1. So, a is equals to a plus 2. The initial a value is 2. So, 2 plus 2 is equals to 4. So, this a is equals to 4 is printed. So, we've also printed this and then again, you know, 4 divided by 2. So, what we are going to do is this would be printed. That is 2 would be printed. So, this is how it essentially works here. Right. So, what, what I'll also do, I'll explain you the code. I've already written the code for you and I'll explain you iteratively. Right. So, this code is in C, but the logic is the same for every language that we are using, right? So, C and C plus are more or less the same. So, in, uh, essentially, all that you change is printf and scanf. So, this is working perfect for you for C, C plus plus. Apart from others, you can apply the same logic. So, initially, obviously, include studio.h to use printf and scanf, then int main, then we initialize three variables i, n, or we declare these variables i and n and then we also declare and initialize a is equals to 0 and b is equals to 0. So, that is what is happening. Then we are asking the user to enter the number. Let us say he is asking to print us the 7th position. So, he enters n value as 7 and we store it using this printf and scanf statements, right? Now, what we do is we use this for loop, right? So, for loop is being used and then this if condition to go as I told you in the previous one, right? This if condition is nothing but uh, this particular area to print out the values that we have here. Correct? So, this if i percentage 2 to print out the odd values and then if i is greater than 1, so we check that, uh, you know, if i is greater than 1, we check this condition and then we increment the value, right? So, this is because we want to print the initial 0 uh, by declaration, right? And then this else condition comes, that is for the even values, right? And then finally, we are printing it. So, this whole loop runs, let's say i value is 7, so this whole loop runs 7 times, right? So, if then again, for the 7th position, if we are to print from the previous loop, that is this one, this one, then in that case, again, we are, we are using the same logic. If n percentage 2 is not equal to 0, it prints the value of a. And else, it is not that, it prints the value of b. So, in this case, 7th position is nothing but this 6 value. So, which is why it goes inside this particular loop, right? Because 7 percentage 2, if I denote down to you, <coughs> 7 percentage 2 is 1 right and 1 is not equal to 0 right so this condition is satisfied which is why it will go in this loop and then print f the last old value of a for us which happens to be 6 so 6 will be printed so on if the value was 8 right so in that case 8 percentage 2 is equal to 0 and 0 is not equal to 0 so this condition is not satisfying which is why it goes inside this loop and then prints b a by 2 this would have had been implemented at the very last so which is why it prints 3 right so this is the logic for this question uh, you can find the link of this or the the coding solution of this question uh, you know we've put that in the description link in the description below so you can find that and if you have any questions if you were not able to understand any particular concept Maybe, you know, go back in the video, try to watch it again and then uh, we'll, we'll try to help you in the comment section as well. And we've also given you the link of this solution or the code itself in all the languages, not just C, C++, Perl, Python, Java, all the languages. There's a link in the description below. And uh, so all of these coding questions that we've taken, so there was only one coding question that we've taken. There are two more videos uh, for the TCS coding questions uh, that is uh, that have been asked in the previous year we've also put the links of all the other two videos in the description below so you can watch the other two videos as well apart from that 
these are only the three questions that we are solving in the online classes that we take uh, there would be a good amount of more questions for from coding so i highly recommend you joining our online classes there are 72 hours of videos that we take in our online classes and rather than focusing upon only uh, you know how to solve a particular question uh, you know anybody can solve a given quants question or coding question or programming question within two minutes but in the online classes that we take we tell you how to solve a given question within 15 seconds so we tell you a lot of tips and tricks on how to solve it we start all the topics from very basics and then take it to an advanced level so the link to join the online classes for TCS NQT is also given in the description below currently I think we are providing 25% discount right now so that would be I think auto applied with the link that we have given below in the video so I hope to see you all in our online classes thank you if you have any questions please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section and make sure that you do not forget to uh, like and subscribe the video and share it with your friends as well. Thank you.